Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, as you guys can see, we are going to be doing an extensive review on the Chanel 19 bag. So the one that I'll be reviewing in particular is in the small size and I have this in black. Before we get started on the video, I just wanna let you guys know, especially if you're new here, that I have done some other luxury bag reviews before. So if you haven't checked it out already, I have a video on my entire designer bag collection. I have one on the Gucci Marmont. I also have one on the Prada re-edition in leather and also the Dior Carol bag. And in terms of Chanel, I also have a review on the card holder. I highly recommend you check that video out because I think everyone needs that style of card holders. So make sure you take a look at that. Without any further ado, let's get started on today's video. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely excited about today's video just because this is my first and only Chanel bag. I saved up so much for this bag. Today's structure of the video, I have so many different points. So how it's gonna go is I'm gonna start off by talking about my experience with buying this bag, the price of the bag. The third point, we're gonna talk about the details of the bag and also how to wear this bag. Then we're gonna go into the pros and cons of this bag and also why I chose the Chanel 19 over the Chanel Classic Flap as my very first Chanel bag. Lastly, we're gonna talk about my opinion on whether or not you should get it or who this bag is perfect for. So anyway, starting off with the very first point, which is how how I got this bag and my experience with buying this bag. So if you guys are new to my channel, I also do vlogs and I actually documented my entire journey on getting this bag in this Paris vlog here. So long story short, I got this bag on my solo travel to Europe and Paris was my last destination. It was also a spontaneous destination. I was not expecting to go there at all. So I had five days there and I've been to Paris multiple times. So my only goal when I was there was trying to find this bag in the size small because back in Canada, I had looked for it everywhere. I couldn't find it in stores and it was so hard to purchase. Not the bag itself, but in the size small. I feel like every Chanel store I had gone into always had the medium, but the size small was just nowhere to be found. Being in Paris for that many days, I went to almost every single Chanel boutique and they all didn't have the size small in the black. And ultimately in the end, I was very, very lucky. I got the contact information of a sales associate in one of the Chanel stores. I'll actually leave her information down below and you can text her or WhatsApp her. She really hooked me up because she saw how much I wanted this bag and also she just put this on hold when she knew it was coming in and it was coincidentally my last day in Paris. That was so nice of her and I was also a first time Chanel purchaser. So that really meant a lot to me. I was very, very lucky. So long story short, if you are looking for this bag, particularly in the size small in black also, it is really hard to find. So I definitely recommend if you are thinking about getting this bag, to check the boutiques regularly or have a contact at Chanel so you are constantly updated. So because I bought this bag in Paris, this bag was priced at 4,900 euros, which I believe is actually cheaper than what it would have been if I bought it in Canada. Definitely the price varies, obviously before price increases and also the location that you bought it at. But this bag is also for the exact same size, the small Chanel 19 versus the small classic flap. This one is a lot cheaper. Definitely take that into consideration if you're also debating between these two bags. So moving on to the details of the bag, I believe this is actually in goat skin. I think this bag comes in lambskin, but I wasn't really picky on the type of leather just because honestly, I just wanted it in small and in black so bad that it just really, really didn't matter to me. So this is what the bag looks like up front. If you look at the leather, it is extremely, extremely smooth and delicate. It looks delicate, but it's actually quite durable. This is my favorite part of this bag. There are just a lot of mixed tones to it. This is with the long strap tucked in, but you can see here it is a very matte gold and also at the very front you have this very nice detailing also mixed with gold and black which I really like. The button here and how you open this bag is you just simply twist this open and you can open it like this. Inside this bag I'm just gonna show you. Once again very smooth flap there and then on the inside I'm gonna take the strap 
out a little bit. This is what the bag looks like. So there are no, you know, dividers inside the bag. It's just a very free flowing bag. And I think it's honestly just preference. So compared to the Chanel classic flap, the classic flap has dividers and other stuff in it. But this one is quite simple. This just has the big opening. It has a zipper here in the back, which is actually quite large as well. You can fit a lot of stuff in the back as well. And then in terms of the hardware, the hardware is also same, which is the matte gold type of hardware. There is the Chanel sign here. I kept the sticker on just cause I know if I take it off, I'm going to scratch it. And then also uh, same with the zipper. I also kept this on cause once again, I know I'm gonna scratch it. The best thing about all these new bags is that they actually have the authentication like this now. This is what the authentication looks like. It no longer is a card, which is amazing because who can remember to keep this card or like store it in a safe place? I don't know. I just like that the whole authentication thing is now just included and sewn into the bag. The last few details I wanted to share with you is that overall this bag does have a lot of mixed tones. I definitely think this is a preference thing. So you can see the gold kind of, you know, starting from here and it starts transitioning into to a more silver color and then back into gold. And if you actually look at the handle, the silver isn't even symmetrical. So if you can see the silver actually starts here and it ends here. So it's not like a very symmetrical, like silver color. In the back, there's also this very big pocket as well for you to put things. And I've put my camera clicker in there, but there's also this magnetic um, little button that closes the bag. I find this compartment super helpful, honestly. I love that they included this in this bag. Okay, so in terms of how to wear this bag, there are honestly two main ways to wear this bag. So the first one is obviously utilizing the long strap here. And the second way is to utilize a small strap and put it around your arm. And within these two different ways of wearing the bag, there are also so many different combinations. For example, if you choose to wear the long handle, you can obviously wear it on the side and have it hang on your body, or you can put it like a crossbody and let it hang on the side. And then also from there, when you're also wearing it, you can choose to have the gold hardware in the back or the gold hardware in the front like this. So there's honestly like almost endless ways to wear this bag. The second one obviously is on your arm with the long strap dangling, or you can put the long strap tucked into the bag itself. So in terms of different ways to wear the bag, like I said, honestly, with all the different combinations, especially with the gold strap in front or in back or whatever, you're really having a lot of different combinations that you can wear this bag. So whatever tickles you fancy, you know? So moving on to the pros and cons of this bag, I'm just going to say as a disclaimer, I'm gonna start with the cons because I realize personally, for me, the cons of this bag is that there are none, personally, for me. Well, besides the price, but you know, no Chanel bag is free. I'm gonna complain about the price no matter what bag it is, so let's just remove that as a con. But otherwise, I feel like for cons, there aren't any personally for me, and that's because I think a lot of the possible cons that you could have with this bag is more a preference thing. For example, you might not potentially like that it's mixed metal, you might not potentially like that it's either lambskin or ghost skin, and you want like caviar leather or something like that. These are actually all the reasons I personally like this bag. I've also seen other people talk about this bag and every time I've read all the cons or like heard their cons. It's always for me, in my eyes, just a preference thing, which I actually prefer. I love that this bag looks super edgy. I love that it looks very flexible. Like it's not like super rigid. It looks very casual. I don't know. It just like suits my personality a little bit more. So for all of the other people's cons, it's kind of personally my own pros. In terms of the cons, I think I will kind of like let you guys determine that. I think the only other possible con that people kind of think about is the leather is not as durable and I'm actually here to say that after using this bag for a few months, the way that I use all of my designer bags is I'm a huge person on practicality. And if this is not your first time watching my luxury video reviews, then you will know this about me, where I don't like to own a designer bag just to have it sit on the shelves. 
if I'm gonna own a designer bag, I want to use it and wear it out and just, you know, like be able to actually have a very practical way of using it. For me personally, it's not that I throw the bag around on rocks or concrete or whatever it is. I think I have a very realistic way of using this bag and based on my own personal use, this bag has held up really, really well. So far, I haven't had any scratches, which is extremely surprising considering how often I use this bag and also the ways that I use it, where I bring it with me every day, etc. I definitely find the leather way more durable than people think it is. Moving on to the pros and also a combination of why I decided to get the Chanel 19 over the classic flat is number one, the biggest thing is that this bag is so practical. And because it was my very first Chanel bag, I actually asked a few friends that have owned so many Chanel bags. So many of them actually tell me that of all of their Chanel bags, they actually reach for this one the most because this one is just the most practical, like everyday use whatever you're putting in. There is just so much, so much damn room in here. And I just feel like it's the perfect bag to kind of wear with you, especially if you're gone for a really long time or if you're gone all day, it's really, really easy to use this bag because it just fits so much. So the first reason was practicality and how that compares to the Chanel classic flap is that the classic flap, when I tried it in store in Paris, I just found that the opening of the classic flap was extremely rigid. And also when I opened the bag, I could see that there were so many compartments. So there was a limitation to how much I could put in the bag, which really turned me, not that it turned me off that I would never get it, but it turned me off as my very first bag. Also as how I envisioned myself using it. I wanted to use it a lot throughout the week. And with the classic flap, I just feel like wasn't going to be as practical as this one. And that's why on a practicality level, this bag definitely sold me a lot more than the classic flap. The second reason is because I actually love, love, love the look of this bag. I think it is so, so pretty. And for a lot of people who also think of this bag as trendy, I personally don't think it is trendy. I think that it entered the world in 2019, but it is here to stay. I think it's going to be one of those bags that you're going to see more and more. Another pro that comes out of that is because whenever I go out, especially when I'm walking downtown in Vancouver or Toronto or just anywhere when I'm traveling, I see the black classic flap everywhere. This bag, although I'm starting to see it more often, I definitely see it a lot less than the classic flap, which was something that also sold me because I just feel like right now the classic flap is getting super expensive and you see it everywhere. Everyone almost tries to get a classic flap the minute they want to buy their first Chanel bag. So for my first Chanel bag, I wanted something a little bit more practical, something a little bit cheaper also against the classic flap. And I also wanted to get a bag that you don't see as much as you do with the classic flap. The other reason why I wanted to get this bag over the classic flap is because actually the long strap that this one comes in. So when I tried the classic flap and put it across my body as a crossbody bag, it was actually really, really short on the side. And I know that it is a look and a lot of people like that length, but I personally like if a crossbody bag actually hangs a little bit lower, which this one does. So it really goes to show the additional reasons of why this one is a little bit more practical, at least in my eyes. So I personally really, really like the look of this and the use of it. You can carry so much stuff in this and this is what really sold me against the classic flap. The other reason is also because of color, because between the 19 and the classic flap, I knew that I wanted the black in the 19 and the classic flap in a different color. So as my very first Chanel bag, I thought it was more appropriate to just get the black one. So it's a little bit more practical. And then when I'm ready to get a different color for a Chanel bag, then I'm going to be choosing the classic flap in a different color. So moving on to the last part of this video and you know, my own personal recommendation of if you should get this bag and who should get this bag. I personally think that everyone should get this bag personally, just because it's honestly so practical and it is a great, great investment for Chanel. In terms of who I think this is perfect for, if this bag's tones of metal and everything is also up your alley, I think with this bag, it's really, really a preference thing. If you like the look of the mixed metal, if you like the look that this is more, you know, like soft, cushiony, rather than a very structured look, I would also choose this bag over. I would also pick this bag if you are, you know, trying to save up a little bit more for the classic flap, if you're going to be buying the classic flap secondhand. But if you are going to 
to be buying it new. I definitely do recommend buying this one new over the classic flap new, just from a price perspective. These are pretty much all of my reasons for why I think this bag is absolutely amazing and if you should get this bag. But if you have any other additional questions for me, please let me know in the comment section down below and I would absolutely love to answer it. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.